um, I know it's been a long time since I've posted and that has been because I've been extremely busy with school and debate competitions and all this other stuff going on. So I'm hoping to get into a routine to post more regularly now because um, I've had some free time lately over the weekends and stuff, which I'm filming this on Saturday, so hopefully we can get back into um, filming this stuff. So um, since last time, I've been to Disney a few times. I've done some shopping stuff. You know, Christmas has happened. So for this video, it's going to be basically a collective haul since the last time I saw you guys. So uh, we're not going to get through everything I've gotten today. Uh, there's definitely going to be at least a second part to this, if not like a third or a fourth or whatever. Because I have gotten a lot of stuff since last time I've seen you. <laughs> so um, I guess we'll just start with the first thing I have. I have a whole pile over here. So... The first thing I'm pulling out is for Christmas, um, I got a PlayStation 5. I know Lucky, very happy to have that. Um, I do understand how hard it is to get that and that was a real surprise when I opened that up. So I got a couple games. The first game, and I'm gonna try and do some close up shots of all the stuff I show over my voice talking about them. So the first thing I got is Spider-Man Miles Morales. Um, I've played through about three levels so far because, uh, again, not a lot of time to do this stuff. Not as much time as I would like. So, um, this is a really fun game. And coming from a background of not playing video games of that type, I usually play the more childish games that are very simple to understand, very simple to complete. So this is a little bit more challenging and actually it's a lot of fun. I really, really enjoy it. So that's the first thing. Um, next we have another game. This is one of my favorite games from my childhood, my early childhood, um, Little Big Planet. Not this one specifically, but I grew up playing Little Big Planet uh, at my youth group. They had a PlayStation and stuff. So this is Little Big Planet 3. And oh my gosh, it brought back so much nostalgia, so much memories. I absolutely love these games. Uh, I can't wait to eventually get Sackboy, which is the one for the PlayStation 5. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait. So this is a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. I'm very happy about this. Um, one thing I got at BJ's when I was out with my dad is it's called Who's Who and A to Z of Disney characters. It's basically like... A bunch of different Disney characters. It does not have anywhere near all of the Disney characters, but it does have quite a bit. So like if I flip to a random page, here's Lady and the Tramp. Um, it has a table of contents with like all the movies it has. So like here's, um, let's see, here's F through Z in case you guys want to see that. And then I'll show you the page before that, which is A through F go and I'll try and do a close-up of that and some of the pages so this has been really fun to read uh, it doesn't definitely doesn't have a ton of information on each character but it gives you like their own uh, personal little bio of and what they do throughout the movie and it gives them um, little facts about different movies and characters and stuff like a did you know section so that's really cool and I really really like reading that I have um Three Marvel encyclopedias, and this is my first Disney encyclopedia. So uh, that's really fun. I really enjoyed that too. Um, the next thing is all the pins I have gotten. Well, not all of them. I have another board with some more I got for Christmas. After Christmas, this is every pin I've gotten. So um, I'll sit up close here, and then I'll probably do a zoom over of this. So this is, oh, and this is also new, this board. It's a leather, it's a letter board. Um, which I've never had before. I have two of them now, which is really cool. One actually has the letters on it, and this one is just, I'm putting pins on it. So, first thing we did is we went to Universal recently, within the last, like, four weeks. And I got a Universal Studios pin. Um, I got a Universal Studios pin. It says Universal Studios Florida. Um, and that one, it was my favorite one that they had. It's from one of the newer designs. And then we just finished watching Harry Potter for the, me, I watched half of it. 
and then I rewatched it with my family. So this is my first time seeing the full series, and I gotta say, that was amazing. I absolutely loved it. I am a Slytherin, so uh, I have my Slytherin crest over here. And then the next is what I got at a Hot Topic sale. They were having buy two get buy one get two for clearance. So I got three $5 items at Hot Topic, my local Hot Topic. Um, these, these two are snow globes. And this one has Marie in it, the first one. And then the second one has Baymax in it. And then this was a late Christmas present. My parents just forgot to give it to me. It's Stitch in front of the Cinderella castle and it's all red, white, and blue for 4th of July. They actually ordered that 4th of July last year and we're holding on to it for Christmas and then they never gave it to me so they just gave it to me like a couple, like January. So, you know, nice surprise. And then I got some more stuff from Hot Topic recently and this is a blind box of the Aristocats. And this is, um, he's the... I don't know his name. All I know is um, Alley Cat, and um, which is the black cat. He's the main guy. And then this one is the one he wears a bandana and a little farmer's hat. And he plays the accordion and he dances with Duchess because Aristocats is one of my all time favorite movies. And then down here we have a Tower of Terror pin, which we went to the character outlet for like the first time. And I have to say, that was amazing. I really enjoyed that. So they had a couple pins there, and I only got one. Uh, this is Tower of Tear, and it spins. <laughs> it's not steady in there, so it's spinning the whole thing. Um, and it has Mickey, and it just says the Twilight Zone Tower of Tear. And then these two I traded for. Uh, we went in January, and I traded for these two at Caribbean Beach. So um, this was on our Universal trip. So this is a medallion, a pirate medallion, and it has Mickey on it. And this is the letter U, and it has a duck on it, which is the ugly duckling. And then, let's see, this is from a pin lot I got. So we have Mickey's hand. Then we have Goofy as a Mickey head. Then we have these two, which are from Shang... Oh, let me double check. Um, I believe they're from Shanghai Disney. Um, let's see... Yes, they are both, Prince Philip and Cinderella are both from Shanghai Disney. So we have, yes, Prince, or not Prince Philip, Prince Florian and Cinderella. And then we have Iron Man and Spider-Man and Anger and Fear. And then we just got back from Disney yesterday. We went to Hollywood Studios and we stayed at Coronado Springs for the very first time. And we stayed in Grand Casino Tower. And that resort was absolutely amazing. I could not praise it enough. We got a view of Hollywood Studios right from our room. And we could literally see Slinky Dog running from our room. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, the food we ate at Rick's Bar and Grill, it was absolutely amazing. The cast members were wonderful. Um, the architecture and design is just spectacular. I could not praise that hotel enough. We will definitely be staying there again. So I have the hotel pin because I get one pin from every hotel that I stay at. And then we have some I traded for. So this is a Snow White apple, which is kind of funny. So I thought I'd get that. And then we have Pinocchio, Mickey Mouse. Then I've been collecting the Puffles. Um, and this is the green Puffle. Then we have Mowgli. He's just Mowgli standing there. And I believe this is Mickey Mouse, but at the same time it doesn't look like Mickey Mouse. So I'm kind of confused why it's orange and not yellow, but whatever. It's a Mickey Mouse skull and crossbones. And then this one, I we went with friends, and so I traded a couple pins with them. She traded me this one from Hong Kong, and she also traded me this one from Hong Kong, which is a Halloween blind box pin, and she also traded me this Pascal. And then I traded for this artist collection Frollo, because I'm also trying to complete that collection. And I decided to start with this Under the Sea collection. This is one of the fish playing the harp. So that's all the pins that are not from Christmas. So that's that. <laughs> quite a few there. Um, quite. Uh, we did. I do quite a bit of trading in the parks. So uh, I always have a bag full of pins. You know, I actually have a pin folio which I got for Christmas that I've been using now. So that I really like it. I really do enjoy that. It's just a small two-page one. So it's really good though. It, it holds the pins very nicely and it keeps them all organized and stuff. I love it. 
So this is the other thing I got from the Hot Topic clearance sale. It is um, sticky notes of Lock, Shock, and Barrel. They're just sticky tabs. So each one is an individual tab and they're in the bathtub from Nightmare Before Christmas. Because again, one of my other favorite movies is uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. So I watch it at Halloween and Christmas and in between. So I watch it once in October, once in November, once in December. And then I listen to the soundtrack all year long. <laughs> I love the soundtrack. It's absolutely amazing. So that's the last thing I got from the Hot Topic clearance sale, but I did get some more stuff from Hot Topic when I went shopping there because I did an online hot cash sale. So uh, this is something from the character outlets again. We got a bunch of stuff when we went there. Um, so they had these for 99 cents. It's I'm here for the rides and I'm here for the autographs, which is for me is very true. I go on absolutely every ride I possibly can and I always get as many autographs as I can. I have two autograph books, one's full and one I just started. I've had my first autograph book since I was like six years old and I've been filling it up throughout the years. Um, my favorite autograph I've ever gotten is from Prince Caspian when they had Narnia featured in Hollywood Studios. And he has his own special page and it's on, we forgot my autograph book so we had it on a little piece of notepad paper. That's my favorite autograph. So if you guys want to see a tour of my autograph book, I might just do that. Or if you really want to see it, you know, you comment down below and tell me you want to see it. Uh, or if you want to see my button collection, which I have a jacket full of buttons and patches, I can also do a tour of my jacket. That would be really cool. I wouldn't mind doing that. So the next thing, this is the box for the Aristocats. So in case you wanted to see, those are all the guys you can get. I'm sorry the lighting in here is not very good. This is the one I got. So then we have the, the um, guitar playing cat. We have Thomas O'Malley and Duchess. Um, this is Alley Cat. And this is the one who plays the stand-up bass, or the cello, I can never tell them apart. And this is the three kittens on the piano. So that's um, that. That's that piece. <laughs> then um, and again at the character outlets, I got this Marie Fuzzy Bag Charm. And I, have a, I just got a Marie backpack, and this is going on there. And I will show you guys the backpack because that's what I'm actually digging through right now. I put this stuff in there. She's got a little tuft of hair up here. And I still have the tag on it because I uh, just sorted through all this stuff. She has her little bow. And then her ears are are white. And then she has the pink felt in the middle. And that's just like a fuzzy, squishy bag charm. I'll probably cut this tag off though because it's really annoying. Uh, let's see what else we got. This is from the Hot Topic Hot Cash. Um, I've been waiting to get this for a very long time. It is an Alice in Wonderland choker. And it has the white rabbit. And then on the here it has a card, a heart, a key, and let's see, what is this? I can't tell. Oh, it's a bow. And it's a snap choker. So actually, I think it's a little bit too small, but I still will keep it and I will display it. I don't care what. I might just like close it up like this and display it, you know, because it, it looks like it's going to be a little bit too small for me, which, you know, you can't win them all. So, but that is that. I keep saying that and it's probably annoying. So I'm going to try not to say that anymore. Because honestly, I don't like saying that. So at our local mall, we just got, um, I watch a lot of videos on Japan. So uh, we got a shop that kind of represents, if you know um, Daiso from the, over there or uh, Kitty Land or, well not Kitty Land, um, any of the uh, one yen or 100 yen stores, we got one store in our mall that is kind of like that. I don't know the name of it though. And they sell all kinds of stationery and makeup and all kinds of weird, wacky stuff. And they actually have washi tape. So they have some space washi tape that I got. This one is Stars and Planets with gold foil Stars and Planets. And then this one is Stars and Planets with just white background. It's actually clear. And then it has all the Stars and Planets on it painted on there. And, you know, they're pretty thick. So I'm using them like little masking tape for when I'm doing my art. Um... So, yeah. And then this is my Marie bag. This reminds me so much of Tokyo Disney that I just had to get it. Um, it's Marie and it's fuzzy and she has her bow in her ears and they move and it is amazing. It has pink straps and normally I'm pretty against pink and cute and girly, but Marie is my exception. I love Marie. 
Actually, my favorite kitten is um, Barlios, but um, Marie is a very close second. And she, since they don't have a lot of Barlio merch, I usually get Marie merch everywhere I see it. So I actually got this in the parks um, December at Tomorrowland. And they still sell it. It's actually kind of all over the parks now. When we first got this, when we actually bought it, it was in like one store throughout the entirety of Magic Kingdom. And I've even seen it in Hollywood Studios when we just went up yesterday. So it's starting to get out there. It's amazing. And it's like the perfect size for my ears and accessories when I go up and stay at the hotels. I usually use it for that. Since, you know, it's kind of, the weather's kind of underpredictable. And in Florida, it rains a lot. So I don't usually use it as a park bag because, you know, I don't want to ruin the fluff. So next, um, I got two ears, one in December and one yesterday. This one I picked up at Coronado Springs um, yesterday, and this is actually brand, brand new. It came out like literally a few days ago. <laughs> I saw it on the news and I'm like, if I see it, I get it. I'm getting it. My mom, my mom actually bought me this for Valentine's Day along with a couple other things like that Coronado Springs pin and something you'll see later, probably in another part of this video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna show it in this, but if I do, I'll let you know. Um, they're a new pair of ears and they are le faux leather and they have Mickey pearls. And this bow literally feels like a marshmallow. It's like, uh, fall plaid kind of style and it's pink white and gray and black and I'm absolutely in love with these ears They are so cool. I absolutely love them. I'm like fawning over them in the store I was like I have to get those so I saw them and I picked those up at Coronado Springs Like I said, I've actually I saw them when we were in Hollywood Studios. So they're pretty much everywhere now um, So if you like them you can get them They are absolutely amazing. They're really comfortable the inside is actually pink, and then this is faux leather, and I I don't mind this pink because you can't really see it once you put them on. And the bow is like a really pastel pink, so that doesn't bother me. And it's mostly black, and it reminds me of like a biker, or if you've ever seen the Japanese Mickey ears from Tokyo Disney, uh, where they are faux leather and they have studs on them. I'm waiting to go to Tokyo Disney and get those. I really, really, really want them. <laughs> and these remind me of that, so until then, I have these. And then the other pair of ears I got, which was back in December, these were a hot commodity and we were they were not in any store. And then we went to the hat store in Fantasyland in Magic Kingdom and we saw them. They had two left. My dad grabbed them and we bought them. They are the sweater weather is what I call them, sweater weather ears, if you ever heard that song. Um, they have like a knit bow and it's uh, gold and silver and it has this gold piece here and then it has fur. So if you can't tell, I like all things snuggly and furry. So these were definitely a must get. I like the songs for weather the weather and they kind of go with that. So they're kind of like a winter, not really Christmas, but kind of like winter ears. So I had to get those. And then the next thing is actually some stuff I've gotten from the dollar store to help decorate my bedroom. Um, I've got a bunch of these little candle holders, and these are actually rose petals from my school. Uh, my pr vice principal bought me a candy gram, which is just like a bag of Valentine's Day candy, and gave it to me. So it says homemade on the front, and this is, yeah, from the dollar store. And it's a really cool design. My dollar store has a lot of candle holders, so I like going in there and seeing them. And then these LED candles I got from the dollar store, they... Oh no, these are the ones we had in the house. So I got some in the house and I got some from the dollar store. These are just, you know, little LED tea lights. I put them in there and I have them on my bookshelf. Then another one I got is this like splatter paint, sparkly, shimmery. It's not really sparkly, it's more shimmery. You can't really tell if you don't look at it closely. And again, I have some rose petals in there. And then this is, I believe, one of the LEDs I got from the dollar store. We'll see. Oh yeah, this is definitely one. So the, I will let you know, the dollar store tea lights do not work very well. Um, this one actually changes colors. Um, changes colors, it's green, blue, the color colors of the rainbow. And it looks really nice in the shimmery cup. So it kind of lights it up. And I really love these rainbow tea lights. I just wish they worked better because they get jammed and stuff and then they just don't turn on. So be careful when you do buy dollar store tea lights, but Dollar Store is really stepping up their craft game and they have a lot of storage and candle lights and I love little tea lights. I don't like candles, but I like tea lights. 
Um, so I think we're gonna do a couple more things and then end this. Um, I got, this is only part of my stuff I got from my to first ever Tokyo Kawaii Club mailer. And um, I was very, very happy with that purchase. I actually got it in between Christmas and birthday because it was supposed to come for my birthday. And then it came like in the middle, which my birthday is in October. So we have my birthday in October, my brother's birthday in November, and then we have Christmas in December. So we're very busy at the end of the year. Um, so this is the first thing I got. And at the time I got it, this was a very, very new item. It was in the shop, Dis or the t Disney stores in Shiba, uh, Shibuya and all that stuff. I watch all those videos all the time, so I kind of know what's there. And this is Lady on a, her present that uh, she came in when uh, Jim Darling gave her the Darling Dear, uh, Dear Darling. <sighs> Can't think of it at the moment. And then actually I put one of the other things I got from Tokyo Quiet Club in there. This is a Rapunzel Macaroon hair tie. And it has a pearl on the end and it's a macaroon and it has a picture of Rapunzel on there. You can't see it very well, but it's there. There we go, and I can see it. And so that's that. I know I said I wouldn't say that anymore and I just failed. So, <laughs> and then, so I'm actually mixing in a couple craft stuff in this haul. These hauls I'll be doing. Uh, this is something I made. I saw a picture of a bunny, a sock bunny on Pinterest and I actually made it just by looking at the picture. So um, I made my own sock bunny and I put bows on it to hide the little rubber bands. So if you want to know how to make these, I will definitely make a video on them. They are so fun and so easy. I think anyone can make them. Uh, you don't have to do the bows if you don't want to. I just wanted to add them. So um, this is my little bunny. And actually, I just came back from CVS with my grandma today, and we got some fuzzy socks to make bunnies out of. So, looking forward to that. And then I'll leave off with a couple, uh, a couple more things I made. So, I made these a while back with my grandma. We bought these lanterns, wooden lanterns from the Dollar Tree. Which, honestly, wooden lanterns that light up with tea lights at the Dollar Tree, that's amazing. So, I made this Christmas one. It's candy cane on the front. Then we have candy canes on the sides. Then on the back we have snow. And actually I did a little fuzz on here and a peppermint on top. And I put the little bow ribbon there and I put some pipe cleaner ribbons here. So I thought that was really cool. Made that one and then I made this one which was kind of like, I was thinking butterfly garden. So it actually has a weird, let me find the front, a weird like design that the light comes through. So if I tilt it up here maybe it'll See, there you go, you can really see it now. It has like these weird twisties design. And then I put puff balls on the front and I did dark blue and dark purple. Then I put some 3D butterfly stickers also from the Dollar Tree on there. So I did those on this side too. And I actually put some feathers on there because I have lots of craft stuff. And then on the back I put a poinsettia, a green poinsettia with some little puff balls and a butterfly and on the top I did a butterfly and a feather and I just left the twine hang on it because I thought that looked pretty with the butterflies. So that's the last thing I'm going to show you. <laughs> Caught myself. So that is my haul for this video. Um, I'll definitely make a part two because uh, I can just show you. Um, I have a lot more stuff left. I have bags on the floor full of stuff, and then I have on my bed just tons of stuff I can show you. So, um, till then, uh, hopefully it'll go up soon, maybe over this weekend I'll post another one. Uh, till then, uh, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys soon. So, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all the usual stuff if you want to see more, um, and I'll see you guys soon, hopefully. <laughs> We'll try. We'll aim for soon. <laughs> Near future. How about that? Until um, then, uh, see you later.